Good morning, Sunday morning. So we are in Hampi. Hampi is a small town. Uh, normally around 2,000 people live in Hampi. But yesterday and today there is a festival, big festival in Hampi. So there are around 50,000 people. <laughs> The main party is at night, but as you can imagine, uh, still many people are around during the day as well. So we were planning to visit lots of temples, archaeological sites, but I have to say it's a bit challenging at the moment. But we're going to be here tomorrow as well, so hopefully tomorrow it will be a bit quieter, we can do that. Yeah. And today we just enjoyed the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking up to a hill for a morning late sunrise very very late sunrise <laughs> the sunrise was two or three hours ago but we had uh, we missed it we yeah, just missed it <laughs> yeah we had a massive breakfast so well worth it <laughs> it's crazy to see we are just uh, <laughs> in the town but kind of hiking a hill proper hike Sites full of ruins. Still have lots of stones in between houses and temples. And then you have the river and you have all the greenery. Now I know why lots of people come to visit Hampi. Yeah. Look at this side of the hill. How green. How green is there? Why was Hampi so important? It used to be the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire that ruled in the middle and south of India between the 14th and 17th century and it was a very large and prosperous city. And many travelers compare Hampi even to Rome. They said it was as large as Rome. Um, and we can really understand why. Huge roads and lots and lots of temple. Uh, there are also hills, a river, uh, it's very green. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ella, how many temples have you count so far? I lost count. <laughs> it's nice because you walk around, you're in the middle of nature and then you have lots of temples to look at. Pleasant way to spend our day. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> you like temples? Yes, yes, yes. No photo. You see? I do this and with video. You wanna come in the video? You see? <laughs> you too. So if you're ever wondering, we are not all of a sudden on a safari. <laughs> we are still in Hampi. We are going back to our hotel room. This is Hampi. You go from ruins and temples, it can be very, very peaceful. Good morning, good morning. It's around half past seven. It's our second day in Hampi. And today we're going to visit some of the archaeological sites. The festival finished last night. Actually, finished at 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so we hope that Hampi will be a bit less crowded today. Some bees, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> there are, I don't even know how many, but lots and lots and lots of archaeological sites. We'll have to carefully select what to visit today. Yeah. We'll do our best and we'll take you with us. The Queen's Bath was in all probability used as the private bathing chamber of the King and the Queens. 
is 15 square meters large, surrounded by beautiful arch corridors with pillars and ornate balconies with windows. Stone steps lead down to the floor of the bath, connected to an aqueduct for fresh water supply. The beautiful Lotus Mahal, an Hindu Islamic structure. As the name resembles, it has a lotus bud shape and is one of the few temples left in Ampi that had not been damaged or destroyed. Look at this! Let's discover how is this in the temple. The Hazara Rama is dedicated to Lord Rama, Hindu deity. It was once a private temple for the royals. Relics and panels depict the story of Ramayana. The Vitala temple has typical South Indian architecture and is dedicated to Lord Vitala. It is presumed to be the grandest of all temples in Ampi and the most ornate. The stone chariot is a shrine and the most stunning architecture of the Vijayanagara kingdom one of three famous stone chariots in India.